Gates. This is the God Self Dust, inviting all the gods and all the earth to come out to hear me build and show and prove and bring back a large five percent to the forefront. The title of this beautiful, beautiful, powerful bill is going to be called An Interpretation, The Changing of the Five Percent. We all know from reality that five percent has had a transition. It's for you to decide that transition is good or bad. So I'm going to build on that. I'm going to show and prove the 120. I'm going to show and prove a lot. I want you all to come through. This is the gods, the earth in Trenton, the gods, earth, Philly, or whatever you at. New York, Mecca, come down. It's August 15, 2009. It's in the Vine Land in Trenton, New Jerusalem. Uh, be there. Peace. I'm not saying you have to be crazy. I'm not saying that at all. All I'm saying is, when did we separate from being or being examples for the youth? When did we when did we say, I mean, how do you go in a cipher and say, yo God, the 85% believe in this, that, and the third? When we live out every single thing that we say the 85% believe in. We don't believe in the teachings of the 10% or the 85%. Right. We don't believe in none of that we say. Right. Of course, they, the lesson uses very, very powerful words. But we do every single thing. Tell me the line between the 5% and the 85%. If they do the exact same thing, is it because one has knowledge of self? But what does that make a person who has knowledge of self that is doing wickedness, that is doing things that we know is not right and exact? What does that make that person? And what does it make a person who sees that stuff and doesn't address it? See, there's no masculinity in the science anymore. Nobody wants to be a man and simply say, look, God, this is not how we do it. We don't subscribe to that. So instead of making YouTube videos, instead of this and me, just simply go, look, God, I want the same excitement that I spurned off the, just the, the hits I got on this YouTube video when uh, most people got excited and, and I'm getting calls from God saying, yo, you got me in my lessons again. Uh, the topic that I want to build about today is we're going to have a presentation. The presentation is basically going to be about the 5%. What happened to the 5%? Why aren't they as active as they used to be? Certain situations that produce certain situations that allowed us not to do some of the things that we needed to do. And basically going through a retrospective view of how things were then as opposed to how things are now. August 15, 2009. Hey, this is Why Kill a Law, author of the book in the name of a law. It's the clown 13 next to the five percenters. Volume 1 and Volume 2. Telling you to come check out my man, self-justice God of law, do his presentation or the interpretation and the changing of the 5% that's going to take place August 15th in Divine Land, Donnelly Holmes Project, in the Land of Truth, a.k.a. Trenton, New Jersey. So August 15th, be there and check out the true and living God's manifest the truth and the reality and build it on the degrees and the mathematics and manifesting the truth behind the law of 5%. Welcoming home all of the gods, all of the gods in the earth, and the babies, and all the positive people in the universe. With that, I say peace. Is that he was God? How, particularly here in Divine Land, in the land of truth, can you explain to us what has caused that type of response from the youth, particularly, and how we can change that? And will that be discussed at this meeting? Yes, and let's just deal with a couple of things. Let's deal with the reason. We have a duty to teach the uncivilized, civilization. We are failing. One of the reasons why we are failing at doing that is because the same things that are plaguing the 85% is plaguing the 5%. We're falling victim just like the 5% fall. I mean, the 85% is victim. So if we are able to uh, overcome those obstacles that the devil has put before us, how can we expect the 85%? So we took the weight of the universe, even the earth, on our shoulders. But we don't even know what to do with it. Because we won't even take what we have, what we hold dear, Islam, 120 lessons, 
mathematics, we won't even take those and apply them to our daily lives. So we're not applying to our daily lives. What are the babies out here? So we we are all held accountable. Okay. Right out of here. Right out of here. Right out of here. Right out of down. You know what I'm saying? So that's the whole point. Is that we want to bring that back because black people are the family. You know what I'm saying? So those who ain't educated, I gotta take the responsibility. If I don't do the education, I can't blame you because if you don't know who the true living God is, I gotta blame myself because I got God. So if I'm not out here manifesting on a daily basis, or he's not, or whoever else is not out here manifesting on a daily basis, then we got we hold a way. That's what I'm saying, God. As long as we can do and be productive and show up that this is the devil, and no shit before the black man, no shit before is Jesus or God, then we're in a step forward. The fact of the matter is, the person you see there, yourself when you look in the mirror, you see him God. Now we got work to do to manifest being God. We know that. We know we ain't pulling stars out of the sky. I can't pick up this car. But the reality of it is, is we, we making steps to show and proof and manifest who we are as a people. You know what I mean? We all, just keep it real. We are what we call uh, uh, poor righteous teachers. You see what I'm saying? Not poor only in make physical. I'm talking about we're on a poor part of the planet. You see what I'm saying? As far as resources, etc. But once we start acquiring that knowledge, what we call 120, or we call lessons, we start acquiring the supreme mathematics, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, culture, freedom, and so on and so forth, and we get to number seven, which represents God, then that's a step in the right direction. You see what I'm saying? Because like I said, we only poor pocket-wise because we ain't handling our business. We outnumber the white man 11 to 1. How the hell is he ruling? Oh, he's ruling because we ain't united. We got no powers. But as long as you say, as long as you think you can tell me what to wear, what to do, what to say, it ain't gonna happen. The black man is God. If there's no leaders in this nation or the nation of God's earth, I, I'm kind of curious, who the hell can disqualify me? Good question. According to every single thing we're taught we are, the black man being God, who are the 5% on this poor part of the planet earth? Some degrees say who is the 5% on this poor part of the planet earth? All those degrees, Tell me, I can understand, I draw it up, I know who I am. I'm not a mystery God, I'm none of those things. I don't believe in a mystery God, none of those things. But it's crucial here because now if somebody doesn't adhere to somebody's particular teaching, the first thing they say is, you're not a member of this. Well, who's saying that? I would Point me to the leader who said it because every four square inches of this planet, everybody's thinking differently. It's the same thing here. But we're going to build, we're going to make it happen. Um,